What's up, everybody? Uh, it's your boy Ooch. Uh, I'm here with my brother Ooch uh, and the homie Kai. And we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Trifecta back again for another freaking week in a row. That's what I like to freaking see. That's what I like to hear. What's going on, everybody? It's your boys. We we need to we need to have like a name for one the three of us aside from the trifecta are are back as a unit, but we'll figure that out in time. So brother, Luz, how you doing today? How you feeling today, sir? I'm all right, you know. I guess a little long day, you know. Ten to six shift. Mm. Got some gym time in, you know. Now I gotta fucking drive all the way to fucking Newark yeah. Airport. 2 a.m. No, yeah. I, I mean, chilling, I guess, you know, not complaining. <laughs> well, yeah, the reason why, the reason why he's going to take that late drive was because Mama Uch was visiting me. Yes. Got to see moms <laughs> since the last time I seen, seen her was when I was over there for the Christmas break. So it was nice. Yeah, we had, mm -hmm. we had, we had a decent time. Went out. This, this is the most I've been out in like forever it, was, it felt great I'm not gonna lie <laughs> uh, so my man kai what's going on sir how you doing today i'm pretty good um i don't know i'm trying to make uh trying to make the best of my situation trying to turn that shit around that's what's up that's good the work is work is going okay no shit <laughs> nah work is ass yeah, well, I I feel that work is definitely work, unfortunately, sometimes. But uh, we're here now to forget all of these issues and dilemmas and strains to talk about good old Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of interactivity, a lot of a lot of folks interacting with. Um, a lot of the videos and content that I've been putting out that came from the Full Power Podcast, for those that don't know, um, these episodes have obviously been going on YouTube as well as anywhere where you get your, your podcast audibly. But I have been taking some chunks, some sections of, the, of their own from a lot of the discussions and you know, turning them into their own videos. And people have been really interacting with a lot of those as well. So good ups on you guys. But just a Fair reminder, you all can submit comments, questions, concerns to fullpowerpot at gmail.com. And if you're on Spotify, there's always going to be a poll and some sort of feedback to give back because any feedback is better than no feedback. So make sure to answer them. Um, but yeah, today we're pretty much just going to be talking about some of the, uh, well, not talking about, but responding to some of the comments that we've gotten um, in the past week. There's been a lot of content going up on the main channel so um we definitely have time to go over a good amount but you know you know how we get we get we we, we get we get we start talking about something and that can end up being a whole episode in itself so if we don't get to you guys uh feel free to you know repost the the comment or whatever something you were looking for us to talk about in this episode so and then also as another reminder the full power podcast will be having its own youtube channel it's already open so the link will be in the description below so that you can click on it and subscribe hit the bell for the notifications as to when we do start uploading the videos there and uh it'll be you know its own thing that's when it, the full episodes are just going to be going on there but all of the you know the smaller discussions are going to stay on my main channel so yeah, and then other than that, I mean, I guess I could, we could start with this since it's just kind of, it's a, it's a, this is a, a warm-up conversation. Uh, recently, they re were released some preview images, sketch drawings, if you will, of the upcoming chapter, chapter 82 for Dragon Ball Super, because it is that time already in March here, and uh, that means that we're going to get our monthly chapter and uh, additional story to this current arc that's going on right now and there's not really a whole lot to go over it's basically just like it was a couple images um uh, pretty rough drawings you know obviously not the finalized pieces but essentially goku is still 
teleporting with gas across what looks like to be multiple planets. Now, the first question I'm asking, are they going to Vampa, right? Because it's like, okay, we're seeing them going from space to space. And when there's actually a picture where they even end up on someone's random like spaceship dudes in the middle of taking a freaking bath like they're on they're all in the freaking tub so i'm like okay there's, there's there's gonna be some humor in there but the funny thing is despite all those images being the preview which is a most there those these are probably gonna be like the opening pages because that's usually what they do when they do these previews but the chapter name is what's really going to hopefully answer some questions that we've had over the past several episodes and months is the bardock versus gas straight up that's what the title is called so it's assumed that we will finally know when or not when but what happened exactly back then how did bardock defeat gas and let me just tell you I hope that it is not on some bullshit. I swear, if it is like the <laughs> lamest outcome, I won't even just be upset because like, oh, I've been like, yo, I'm really thinking like he's the Super Saiyan 4 type shit. Like, I don't even care because I could be wrong about that and that's fine. But if it's like on some, oh, gas tripped, snapped his neck and Bardock got away, <laughs> like that'd be the dumbest thing ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he got distracted and something else happened, like, you know, another something, you know, like they're teasing, obviously they're teasing with the dialogue themselves. Like Bardock had something in him that Goku did not, whether that's like a form or it's just his attitude that was, you know, a lot more than <clears throat> what Goku had, but. Could have been fucking just super Saiyan with a tail. <laughs> Yeah. It could have just been like, I don't know, some weird shit. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys want to throw any thoughts out there immediately right now off of, you know, just, you know, that since <clears throat> this chapter is seemingly going to be that backstory that we've been waiting for? No, I don't want to jinx it. I'm just, <laughs> I can't. I don't want to think of all the possibilities of what it shouldn't be. Mm hmm. <clears throat> that's fair right that's fair all right so we'll go into some comments and i'm sure we're gonna be revisiting that because from my memory because there's a lot of comments that i've been going through um we'll probably end up talking about that again because i'm i'm pretty sure i remember someone saying something along the lines of like what if bardock was the true saying of legend or some shit like that we, we could talk we could get to that the, the short answer, I don't think he's that le Saiyan of Legend at all. I feel like that Saiyan of Legend is, is going to end up being Yamoshi in some way. But who the fuck am I? Dragon Ball can just do whatever the hell it wants sometimes. And even if it makes sometimes. sense. Nah. Yeah. All right. So this person says this movie might just. Uh, wait, hold on. This movie just be. What? Hold on. I don't know how to read today. <laughs> this movie might be just a closure to Red Ribbon Army. They had started, or stated, excuse me, that this is a kind of slice of life movie. So having Cell come back just to push Gohan back into oh his path. <laughs> Yo, this man oh said, my oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. He says, so having Cell come back just to push Gohan back into his battle life seems kind of perfect Oh, uh, to me. So that's the first part. Any thoughts on that before I read the second part? No. Okay. Get the fuck out of here with this cell Figured. shit. It's gonna happen, dude. It's gonna happen. The one. So the one thing I wanted to tell you specifically was because I was because I, I listened to these back obviously because I'm I'm the one that edits them, and I was like, this guy. <laughs> he, he really wants to put the logic aside and say no it should be cooler because fuck this shit that's that's the what? reason that's because whoa 
Whoa. Like, you're talking about cooler in the fucking chamber? No, well, no, because because what you were saying from last week, because you were saying, like, because, you, you know, you know that it makes sense and this and that and everything that lines up, but you said, like, nah, fuck that. Like, it should be, it sh this is where it should be going because... You know, because you say you didn't, you 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 were gonna be damned or something if if Cell comes back before Cooler or some shit like that. I will be, cause yeah, that's see? some fucking bullshit. But I didn't mean it for like the movie. I just mean like 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 the movie already set it in motion. Everything's already lined up. Like right. I get it. If it happens, it happens. But I I just meant that like if they were gonna go, you know, this direction to try to bring some fucking villain back that we're already familiar with. You know, it definitely made way more sense to go with Frieza because, you know, if they're trying to line shit up with the chapters and everything, they've been name dropping Frieza and nothing. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. But it's like now, now they're just trying to capitalize on Z's energy, Dragon Ball Z's energy. They, they brought back Frieza. Majin Buu is around as long as the universe exists. We got Oob and now they got Cell. So they, I guess they got the big three. If this oh. shit happens, like, that's just, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Like I said, like, Cell is the last of the nostalgic portion that Z has to offer. Because right, it's weird. Like, when you think about it, right? So when the anime itself came back, not, not just the movie. Because Battle of Gods, as we know, that shit came back in like 2012, 2013 right and then it was years after that where you know the resurrection f movie got announced but then before that movie even came out the anime came back right i'll never forget when i told this guy i was literally in the car with him i was like brand i have news that you've been waiting for a very 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 long time i'm like you could put the orange bricks away because they're finally come back with new episodes and he goes good <laughs> <laughs> just like he that did. right I remember. so i feel like since then they've low-key in a way they've been kind of setting themselves up to bring everybody back in yep. through nostalgia because it's been so long like from when it came back to when it stopped you know what i'm saying and nostalgia sells and with dragon ball z oh man like it the fact that it's here is is a nostalgia trip in itself technically so i just felt like but they're just getting rid of they're just trying to get it all out out there before they dive into more newer stuff and territories like that if that was true then realistically we had we had an amazing movie that followed the main plot of the story for super with battle of gods then we got another one with resurrection f if they're gonna go the route of nostalgia and put that shit forward first you know besides everything else they're just pushing nostalgia then why why did this slice of life movie not come out before the broly movie that's a good question i feel like i feel like the reason why they they everything has been lining up to to, sh to be the way that it is now is because they had they must have had some kind of general idea of how many power-ups they were gonna have or give goku right and vegeta and since they were the the focal points of the entire shit because super has literally been all about them and they've been yeah. the ones to really handle everything because also, even though what I'm saying is like they're they're trying to get all the nostalgia out of the way, they're also at the same time doing fan service. They did fan service hard. And they, they pretty much knocked two in one. They gave us Goku Black, they gave us trunks. You could throw in a third one. They give us Vegito. That shit that, that was that counts. Absolutely. So that was all in one arc. <clears throat> Before before that happened, obviously we got <clears throat> um, we got Frieza, but I mean, yeah, technically. How many times have we gotten Frieza? Well, yeah, it, that's the thing. Frieza's the Frieza is the one of the big embodiments of that nostalgia factor, 
right? And you can say Frieza also counts as fan service considering that Frieza is one of the most popular villains in Dragon Ball ever. And they made up a whole shit and a scenario to really say, hey, like we want people to watch this fucking shit, you know? Because after Battle of Gods, Frieza was next in line. So like when you see when you see a move like that, to me, that's a power play. That's like I'm reading that shit. I'm seeing their I'm seeing them make these moves. I'm like, oh, so they really want all fans. Because when you have a fan that is like dudes like Brother Uch's boys at the gym, where they're fucking looking at Vegeta videos to freaking power up or whatever <laughs> right to get <laughs> to get their reps in okay Shit's they crazy. are targeting people like that because like brandon said these motherfuckers don't know right so <laughs> so like when you when you see that when you understand that when you understand it from that way then you have to apply like okay so then what are people gonna be most familiar with frieza probably checks off a lot of marks or boxes so from the first movie that came back they introduced something new but that was also a setup film to basically be like okay here's 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 a god of destruction here's angels now we're opening up the entire realm and universes of what we know the story to be and guess what now there's now it's like now there's way more story to be to, to to tell now because it could go in in any in which direction. That was to kind of get people's feet wet. Okay, Dragon Ball Z is back. What, let's go. Like we want more. What the next best thing to do? Attack the nostalgia. You bring Frieza in. Everyone, people, people that are gonna people are gonna see that shit. Old heads, old fans, casual fans that watched it when they was growing up in the shit. They're more they're more likely to buy a ticket than to buy a ticket if it was just like some some brand new shit altogether, like new villain, new whatever, right? More than likely, not to say that they wouldn't, because the name sells itself. They had to use the name to try to sell other shit. Like I remember fucking going into a Best Buy and it had fucking Toriko on on DVD and Blu-ray or whatever. And I'm like, why does this shit say from the creators of Dragon Ball Z? Why do they need to say that? Because they need they need to give people a reason to fucking pay for this. But no one was paying for that fucking fork and knife bullshit. No, no one was doing that. They, they, they could have the guy have blue hair, orange fucking get up. And that's not Goku. You can say from people. That, no, it doesn't matter. But they tried. But they tried. So the whole point. Nostalgia, fan service. Frieza was done first. That was the, you know... At that point, people are jumping into the freaking pool. And they're like, all right, we're in. Everyone's diving in. Everyone's back again, once again. And then from there, they delivered more fan service while also adding other new things. And then by the time we get to the Tournament of Power, they, frog, they fucking bought Frieza right back just to be on the team. So... They needed all they they needed to keep people's attention because like to answer, you know, to go to go back to ultimately answer your question, like they needed to establish all of that first while also giving us heat and fire and action. Like we there was no room to dabble with trying to do this slice of life style. Because if if they came in with that early or at any point while the iron was hot and everyone was on super it wouldn't have lasted people would have gave up on it faster nah i'm just talking about the fact that it could have it, it could have like the last two movies could have been swapped like it could have been slice and then broly because they it's like you said they have really been doing nostalgia and fan service stuff so why why slip in and retcon some you know, non-canon material. Like we didn't just get Broly; we got Gogeta as well. That's huge. That was yeah. a two-in-one and Bardock. But I mean, we we get Bardock, you know, every now and then. We even have him in the manga, so he's not going anywhere. Now, yeah, but before that shit, you know, OD. Like the last time we had Bardock before the movie happened, that retconned that whole shit. 
with Dragon Ball Minus, uh, was the was the 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 three episode special that is not canon where he goes yeah. Super Saiyan. Yeah. Which I you know even though I'm sure a lot of people say that's just not canon, man. I'm like, why not? Like, it, cause realistically, it doesn't harm or fucking do anything negative to the timeline at all. Because if man's got, like, if he got wiped, right, like with everybody else, but for some reason, the blast for him just sent him back in time. Like, why the fuck not? Like, you know, like it, right. Like, that but doesn't do shit to anything. That, that kind of triggers me, too, though, because when you look at all the non-canon material for Dragon Balls, like, specifically, it's like, that stuff is so well-written. Yeah. Like, in a lot of ways. And for me, I feel like the one movie that I don't, I do not care what anybody says to me. Wrath of the Dragon is canon. The way, the way, <laughs> nah, it's like, not. I'm saying it, it I'm saying fire. that it fits it perfectly. Fire. Like all the things about that really fit perfectly in the story. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that it was like, you know, legally like written by the same people, but I'm saying like, there was no reason for that not to be a part of the main story. Like the other ones, like, like the Janemba one that it was that cool. Was fire too. It was cool, but. It was it was very out of place. So wait a minute, you're saying you're saying Wrath of the Dragon is more in place than Fusion Reborn? I think so, yeah. Hmm. Could have been because of the timing. I'm not even sure, honestly. But and honestly, like that that was a whole that was a big question for me too. When I was watching Dragon Ball, I was like, where the fuck did Trunks get his sword from? Nah, see, I used to when I was younger, I used to look at that movie as like oh that's how he gets his sword but then when you when you realize that this is a completely different trunks than the future trunks it's like it's not and and what what and and what makes it what makes people get thrown off more especially like young folks like how i was back when i first watched it as soon as that scene at the end of that movie happens they they like, cut to trunk future trunks dicing up Frieza. So then, in your mind, your the your your the impression is, oh, he that's who he he grows up to be, but that's not the same one. I don't you didn't realize that back then, because you're just like oh my god like. This is how he gets his sword. Because I never, I never, I, I did only because I never liked Trunks as a character. And I think that that's the reason I noticed it is because I thought the kid Trunks was kind of cool. Pretty much because he was a kid and could go fucking Super Saiyan. And then Gotenks just totally, you know, threw him in the panel of favorite characters for me. But future Trunks, I don't know. I was, I was never into it. And it just, I don't know. It didn't resonate with me. Hmm. Okay. Well, in any case, the uh, the whole the whole thing with the why didn't they do this the if this is really gonna be a slice of life kind of thing because I don't I honestly I'm I'm pretty sure it is I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not I don't I can't call this movie a slice of life movie no more like why because I just. I feel like it's, it's 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 off of all of what could happen because I'm saying I'm like in my mind I'm looking at this and just off of the last trailer trailer four it shows off a lot and there's a lot going on in this movie and a lot of good shit and a lot of things that can actually set up more for later which is was was probably what I'm most looking forward to at the end of the day to be honest but the fact that we have an actual fight between Broly and Beerus is happening whilst all this other shit is happening on Earth. And if and if go and if and if it's, it's gonna be believed that Goku and Vegeta are really not gonna be a part of this fucking shit at Earth, then I'm also inclined to believe that what's gonna keep them away? Well, our boy Broly is probably gonna go fucking sh ape shit again. And they're gonna need all hands on deck because Beerus 
I can't wait. I, I just I, I hope they give this man a good ten minutes of of screen time. I was literally about to say I'm pretty sure he's only gonna get ten minutes max. That's fine. All I need to see is him going having a back and forth with Beerus, and then Beerus fucking getting annoyed because he has to try and then when he starts trying broly adapts and then there's that's where the problems start and we see that, that's like, another oh. thing we discussed that i i have a gripe with that because if they're really gonna bitch beers like that that's not cool hey listen it's not about it's see that you're thinking about it the wrong way it's not about beers getting bitched okay it's never about beers getting bitched this guy's a god of destruction but guess what man's is lazy man slept for how many fucking years that's on him. That's his own fucking problem. He bitched himself. Okay. You got a guy out here by the, by uh, that was so strong they exiled him onto a fucking another planet with his pops. Okay. They wanted him dead because they were afraid, and and they had every right to be afraid because look what fucking look what happened. Look what could have happened. Okay. This this is like a segment that always happens on these episodes where I have to I gotta remind the folks. The, the Broly the Broly reminder, okay? If they didn't retreat for an hour, he would have fucking killed everybody. They had to retreat, son. They had they had to have Uncle Piccolo tell them, Fuse, bitch. That's the only way you're beating this dude. Fuse, oh, what, they motherfucker. only had to retreat once? Huh? I said, oh, what? They only had to retreat once? Bro, what are you talking about, bro? Yo, bro, <laughs> Broly was, yo, he was so occupied. We were, we were trying to talk about Frieza too. Look what, look what happened to man's Frieza. Fre oh my, Frieza, what, he became a mop. He yeah, was but getting, Frieza ain't shit. Frieza was, deserved to get mopped. He was getting washed. Like no chance. No shot. Nothing. Like, like, and this is what I mean. Like. Frieza as so as popular as, 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 as you know, I'm I'm starting to realize a trend here. Whether they're villain or, or adversary, these characters they tend to have a set level of like laziness. Frieza, lazy as shit, never trained, handled the entire galaxy as they did, and they were naturally gifted, talented, as strong as they were off nothing, just existing. The second Frieza decided to take shit seriously for a few months, man's unlocked golden and was able to, I guess, kind of keep up with Goku and Vegeta for the short time. But of course, he only knew that shit for five minutes, so he wasn't used to that shit. Got washed. Or, well, you know what's funny? Frieza won. <laughs> Frieza did win, right? He did win, but on some shenanigans, and shout outs to Earth's food, everyone was saved and salvaged, and they were able to live another day. Now you go to Beerus, God of Destruction. Frieza fears this motherfucker. But even Beerus, for being a God of Destruction, being as strong as he is, obviously, he's there for a reason. Man's just lazy. Man's was asleep the entire fucking time. Look what happened in Battle of Gods. He woke up, he, was, he still thought certain shit was still happening he slept through all of that listen broly is the wake up character and not just for him to, ah, no he wakes everybody else ass up he's the reason why people gotta iron their shit you know what i'm saying I it's mean, not about we'll, it's not about beers getting bitched it's never about that i mean we'll just see we'll just see the real beers like what he's actually capable of if he gets pushed to that type of limit but i don't know if we're gonna see that because that because i mean i don't know we only know how beers fights against like goku for example mm. yeah. but we don't even know what type of level he was at then you know type yeah of, so. like the anime portrays like the anime did the the Goku versus Beerus thing or fight a lot better than the movie did. The movie was just like Goku got some offense in, but then they just the fight just stopped. Like he absorbed that like that uh that spirit bomb looking thing, and they never nothing happened after that. It was no it was never explained like what did he just do like. They never went back to that. Never revisited. And then the anime version did it completely different. They literally went back and forth for episodes. To the point where they were just gonna... Break... 
like destroy the the universe if they kept From up punching. like fighting like that yeah like listen dragon ball is no but for now consistency. but now we can have gogeta versus broly breaking dimensions and we fine facts so i guess that's <laughs> that you know that's 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 bre that's better they just they just break reality and dimensions and and they just let it rock and boom like they just, they just get right back to it so i mean that's how strong but and they, understand that that's how strong broly is he was one half of the reason why they were able to even shatter that dimension reality thing that happened okay when goku was fighting beerus they were just gonna destroy you know like put like the universe just off punching these dudes was throwing hands bro imagine if they ripped a fucking hole like how gotenks and boo did but on the other side of this shit it was like universe six or some shit like that like if if they were able to do that i'm not saying that that's what would have happened but i mean they're close to it just off of fighting like that that makes no sense but that's how strong they were so if broly's fighting beerus and he's gonna make beerus really try Broly's gonna Broly's gonna wake his ass up and be like, yeah, I can't, I can't be sleep no more. He's gonna and, and Beerus is gonna get more annoyed because he knows he has to. And Weez is just gonna be in the corner laughing, like oh, Weez is oh, gonna oh. be in the corner laughing, like, oh my Beerus, I mean, he I, might I, be I, the next I, god of destruction. Facts. If, if Beerus really gotta try it, I, I think that's just gonna last like five seconds. <laughs> like he's gonna he's gonna try, but it's gonna be like. He's gonna do some fucking crazy shit and just knock him out. I don't think it's gonna get to that. I mean, but that's if it even gets to that. Cause like, it can't cause though. He, cause the moment he's a god of destruction, so like his his power gotta be fucking. I don't know where it's at. Like but, you know. That's the problem though. Is like if it gets to that, then Goku and Vegeta have no reason to stay there. They probably just want to watch see the outcome because like i mean goku and Vegeta, they, they kind of know how they perform against beerus so maybe they want to see how broly performs true nah but like if they if they i don't know like some shit's going down on earth like pan got captured you know like that's that's kind of a uh i mean goku's not gonna know that though if he's on another fucking planet like he's not gonna know just based off a of power <laughs> level that that fucking pan got captured but Whis Whis could have eyes though. Whis has the Whis freaking. Is the only, I don't know. He might Whis he might sense only. Piccolo's that new form. Ultimate, yeah. I mean, but but honestly, like, like if Beer when Beerus and then Broly fight, like, like, I feel like all their attention is gonna be on that, just based off of like what's like how intense the fight could be. Like they're not gonna they're not gonna instantly like retract over to what's going on on earth because they're really paying attention to this fight that's the only that's the only conclusion i can really come up with because like mm -hmm. i know they can sense power levels from a great distance probably but but you Momo got just Paris gotta call weiss on speed dial you got yeah exactly that's the only op like option honestly for that to even occur but I mean, he's just not gonna pick up the phone <laughs> I mean, honestly, some fuck shit could happen. <laughs> like, I don't know. What what kind of fuck shit are we talking about? <clears throat> like, because I don't know. Like, Boma and Weiss got some type of fucking telecommunication or something. Oh some yeah, shit. they they keep in contact. Yeah. So like, maybe maybe they could do that. Like, have a little scene. It won't be too long, but it'll be like a scene where Boma's like trying to reach out type mm. shit. And. And I don't know, something happens within the Beerus and Broly situation where we maybe picks up, but then, like, some shit happens, like a big-ass explosion to where, like, you know, we couldn't answer or fully, like, see what's going on over at Earth type of situation. And then he'll just brush it off his fucking shoulder, and they'll continue watching Beerus and Broly. Then, I don't know. I feel like some shit like that could happen. Because... If Goku and Vegeta ain't going back to Earth, then they gotta think of something. Well, that situation you just said, I feel like could happen. As but here, the, but it's my version is a little different. See, they could be going through it on Earth. All that shit happens. Pan gets abducted or whatever, or you know something's going wrong, and Bulma's like reaches out, 
to Whis and be and just to say like, hey, like, can you tell Vegeta and Goku to come back because we need their help? But then Whis is like, actually, they're kind of busy because Broly is out of control right now. So I feel like that would be a really cool scene to see happen. And I also think that that Broly versus Beerus, I feel like we're not even going to fully see the outcome. Oh, we won't. Like, I don't think like, like we might see a little bit. We might, we, cause, cause also keep in mind that Goku's definitely also fighting Broly too. Like whether it's sparring or some shit that is also taking place oh. because that was already shown off in, in the trailers really quick. Now, hold up. I just, I just triggered my damn self. You know what I just thought of? What? When, when you made me realize that they really might not give us an ending to that fight. You know how it's going to be? Whis is going to be like, time's up, chop. Yeah, but Whis can't get involved. Why not? He, but because he, he can't, he doesn't. He never gets involved. He, like, he has though. Well, okay, he, yeah, mm. yeah, that okay. Multiple times he has, re- but he, know. but not like that. Like he's not, he never really shown us what he can do. Man, just dodge his shit and like he uh, he, he neck chopped Beerus when Beerus went on a rampage. Yeah, but because that's he Beerus. Ate. Yeah, he can yeah, check I get Beerus. That. He, he he's allowed to do that. That's his jurisdiction. I get that. He has to. This man got to keep him in check. Yeah, he got to check man. <laughs> <laughs> But he hasn't he hasn't put his hands on anybody else. The only thing Whis has done involvement wise is like I could think of literally Resurrection F. He reversed time. And he and he, gave, he literally gave them a free do-over. That's like <laughs> the only time. If but he yo, if he if he if he's touching anybody, it's gonna be Beerus. Because hey. Give Beerus the benefit of the doubt. What if he fucking snaps? And they're like, all right, enough's enough. Snap, snap, whatever. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. But it's not what will snap to Beerus so that he stops. And then, I don't know. He does something to fucking weed. Or he does something to bully. I don't know. I mean, who knows? Maybe that could happen. That could happen. That's a good thought. Mm. I mean, they, yo, I mean, it, like midway, like mid movie or whatever, whenever this happens, like, and if they don't show us the full results, they could save it for an end scene. Like, you know, at the end of the movie, like and whether it's like after credit, yeah, after credits, we see some type of results, you know, that would <sighs> kind of leave it hype, but, or maybe depending, it, it really depends. I would love that. I truly would. It would be interesting. It would it would it would just make us think more, I guess. I don't know. I feel like if there's gonna be an after credit scene, that's where so would get fucking resurrected at. Nah. Cause at that point Cell's done. Remember? He's the main villain. They're gonna defeat oh, him. Oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> nah, you know who's gonna be the after credits? Oob. <laughs> Could yeah, that's an option too. After credits, post credits, mid credits, whatever. After everything is just all said and done. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll take that back. Post credits, after credits, whatever. Is the world tournament, son. That's it. This movie is gonna close the fucking gap. And that, yeah, that's it. They're done. Then, then the next time they come back with another film or the, the TV anime returns, it's brand new shit. No more Super. Super is done. I mean, they could keep calling it Super if they want. I, they shouldn't. It wouldn't make sense, technically. But, you know what's funny? They could, well, they technically could, they could even go back to just calling it Dragon Ball Z. But I don't think they're going to do that. They'll probably call it something completely new. Again. Dragon Ball Z Plus. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I used to call it there was a video I did it years ago where I said they would call that shit Dragon Ball Super Z or Z Super. <laughs> said nah. Nah. What other fucking questions we got, man? Well yeah, the second part of that, that was just one thing. There was there was Holy another part fuck, to it. Bro. We gotta speed it up. <laughs> they said also Jero had made Android 16 in the image of his dead son 
So this new scientist kid might be Jero's grandson or adopted son. And that's why he has the cell formula because he might have inherited it from his grandpa. Where did he get that shit from? Now he's just making it up. He's just thinking. Nice little hypothesis. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna think that cell is definitely gonna be involved in what's okay, well how did he get there type shit, you know? Um any any anything anything to add to that, Kai? Nah. <laughs> I someone uh <laughs> that's so funny they someone literally because so i made i made a video uh saying who is it wrong answers only right for in that chamber got a lot of responses for that video that was a fun video to do people were saying like some wild shit like <laughs> super saiyan 3 napa like baby vegeta that was one of them but see that one i liked because that was like yo that could actually work because even though he's a tuffle baby is a uh, like the way he looks is very experimental you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yeah that motherfucker looks like a science project pretty much was <laughs> mm -hmm. uh let me see here it's definitely not Dio, I can tell you that much. Okay, so... A little quick update, because I'm looking at the comments from the Retcon Gotenks video that I did. And, uh... The thing with, with, the, with the hairstyle, right? So I went back, I found the video that I was talking about last week that Geekdom did about Trunks' hair. And honestly... This is a very unfortunate thing because it's just a theme of Dragon Ball overall. Trunks' hair is just another inconsistency that this series has. Because it wasn't it wasn't ever about okay, like where or when did Trunks debut and did what hair color did he have? Because it flip-flops. It literally goes from blue in the manga at one point to, to purple and then obviously the purple is what's stuck with the anime but then in the manga like even kid trunks kid trunks has has art by toriyama with blue hair and it's old and i'm like are, are you fucking serious it's just a natural inconsistency and 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 to even add the cherry on top to really get that fucking salt burning the wound toriyama himself in an interview said he doesn't really care about keeping certain things like like in continuity to him hair color and shit like that just doesn't fucking mean anything Dragon Ball, everybody. How you doing? Sample. Kai, you uh, speechless over there? Yeah. It sucks. It's... I mean, I like both colors anyway, so it don't even matter. Yeah, to I me, do. Personally. I do like... I do like the blue. It just... It's still at the end of the day, it's gonna make me feel like wow, like they couldn't they couldn't just stick to <laughs> they couldn't just stick to fucking something, you know, and just because no one else's hair fuck like imagine one day Goku's hair goes from black to just yellow permanently in his regular nappy head look without Super Saiyan. Imagine one day it was just like fucking purple for no reason and they're just gonna be like oh yeah like no that's just that's just how it how it how it how it is and the original reason why 
one of the one of the reasons why they, they even made future trunks come back with blue hair was so that people could tell the difference between that trunks and kid trunks <laughs> think about that for a second but then Kid Trunks finally fucking grew up into what? A different shade of hair? Like, what? <laughs> okay. Dude, this is, this, is the, this is the show that we love and hate. That we hate to love and we love to hate it. Or, yeah, whatever. Shit don't make sense. But, um... There was also... It was funny because there was also a panel... Apparently there was at one point... Trunks had red hair. Believe it or not crazy literally like inconsistency all across the board so it's a shame but it is it is the way that it is um yeah i don't know that is uh it is what it is i guess So this person actually okay. So this is an, somewhat of an interesting comment. So this person says, "Dragon God, Tyen maybe, Saiyan God maybe." This is in reference to what they could be calling the next. Like like I think they're referring to when I like talk about like the primal instinct stuff and all that. They're saying that they need more back lore, and also, do you guys think with Piccolo? getting a new form that we might get some more detail about namekians coming from another dimension or whatever a dimension so when they said dimension i think they may have meant like like maybe other universes because dimensions doesn't make sense because I right. even responded by saying like, Namek like dimensions, no. Other planets, sure. So like, what he's he's t he's telling he's basically saying like, Piccolo basically absorbs more fucking <laughs> <laughs> no. Namekians. <laughs> <laughs> no. What the fuck's going on? They're just saying like, now that Piccolo is getting you know a new power up. That is presumably gonna make Piccolo like, you know, another reliable character to actually fucking help and do something, right? There's, <clears throat> they're saying like, is now the time that they might also, you know, involve or introduce new Namekians? So, because now that you know, it, it's not. It, it doesn't have to always be be about the Saiyans. Like now, can we look at the Namekians with more respect? I guess. Mm. I don't know. It, it really just depends on how he, I guess, got the form. Like, like you know, like he, tra he obviously probably trained for it, but like. How did he discover it? You know, yeah. might have a little tiny backstory about that, but where he where he got it? You know, I don't know. I <clears> Kai, no you got any thoughts? No, not on the Piccolo thing. Okay, so <clears throat> the only the only thing I could add to that really is I would hope I really would love to to see that happen man, because. Let me tell you, seeing this, I love the Saiyans, but seeing them handle everything and then like whenever like the humans get involved, like the earthlings, like Tien, Yamcha, Krillin even, and they just get bodied. Like they're just there, right? And they're literally just characters to just, they're pawns, like Brennan says, like they're just pawns that you send in first and they get, they get washed up or killed, <clears throat> you know? Right. I, I, for the sake of the, that Namekian race, I would love to see them essentially be like another reliable race of fighters. Because I think back to the Tournament of Power, and you remember the two Universe 6 Namekians that they used? Dude, they absorbed everybody 
that they possibly could on their planet in universe six so like they absorbed everybody and they got fucked up like little to no effort was needed to defeat those guys in that tournament of power and they had to absorb fucking like everyone that they could and that's very 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 sad so yeah i would love for i would love for piccolo to be like the new strongest namekian and they find other namekians with potential and then he just you know teaches Clean them up. the ways yeah <laughs> that shit would be fucking mm. sick mm. okay so okay so this is and this is this is the last one the last comment that uh we'll have time for uh this is kind of what i was talking about or oh, I, I was i brought up from earlier <laughs> So this person says the only thing i agree with is that broly has the potential to be the strongest mortal in all of existence until we see the other four universe fighters in the next tournament of power if there is another one coming and by the way i always believe the reason beerus has been searching for the strongest saiyan god is because he wants to unlock his ultra instinct and I think he's always known about how tough Saiyans are and wants one of, or he wants one to be the reason for him unlocking the Ultra Instinct. But, and then he says, why else is he so obsessed with finding a Saiyan God? Do you know? Or, you know? I don't think that last part can be true because if he, if he really did always know about, you know, like Saiyans being fighters and shit like that and him wanting to use them to unlock Ultra Instinct, he would not have sent Frieza to eradicate them. Mm. That's true. Yeah, a little point. <laughs> yeah, unless, yeah, I mean, honestly, unless he just didn't care and he's just like, yeah, you could just do it or whatever. I don't know. I'm also wondering when the fuck is Vegeta ever going to know the truth? And you, think, you think he's gonna snap? No, I don't think he will. Wait, what truth again? The fact that it was Beerus that told Frieza to destroy the Saiyans. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> you can't do shit against Beerus, honestly. Right. <laughs> so it don't even matter. I mean, he might try to. Man could attempt to fight him, but he's gonna get slapped. I don't think so. I think he's had enough enough character growth to be able to put that aside because he did some really fucked up shit in his past that he wasn't with, you know. And he he already came to peace with it. Like there's a reason he's got his hands on the Dragon Ball so many times that hasn't asked for his planet back once. That is very interesting that he hasn't done that yet. Yeah, so my take on that whole thing. So I'll read my response. I said that the whole thing with Beerus in unlocking his Ultra Instinct is kind of weird and contradicting. Okay. With how they've explained where the destructive power comes from and seeing how Vegeta learned how to harness that kind of power, it would make sense as to why it's difficult for a God of Destruction to use Ultra Instinct since it is quite literally the opposite of what the destruction or ultra ego is all about because like they've literally made us you know understand it like the angels natural at ultra instinct because they are they are the bruce lee they are the water and the cup you know they are just they just they just move right they don't think they just do and it's like, you know, the opposite, the the literal opposite of this God of Destruction shit, which is what Vegeta has. So to me, it makes more sense that that could be why they say that it is very difficult for Gods of Destruction to attain and achieve that power, that technique, because 
of how they are inherently are you know what i'm saying because i feel like if you are able to i guess do both then you are the true tranquility yin and yang hmm. which would be od so at that point shit i feel like Shit, I've, I, I, that, to me, when you think of it that way, I feel like that kind of, uh, at the, in the, on the grander scheme of things, on the spectrum, I feel like that kind of brings Beerus down a few notches. For as strong as we look at him, understanding it that way, I feel like that brings him down a few notches. Like, the way, the reason why I say that is because I feel like he is definitely beatable. Like, 100% beatable. Like, it'll be hard, I'm sure. But I... I mean... Go ahead, like, say it. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't know. Like, it honestly... Because I feel like... I feel like Beerus... Because he doesn't... He hasn't mastered Ultra Instinct. According to Whis, I believe. So... So, I mean... But it doesn't mean he can't do it. It's just that he... He hasn't mastered it. So, like... If he were to show it off, like, it would probably just add to his power low-key. Yeah. Even if it's not perfected, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. it's the fact that he could do it. <laughs> yeah, but and we've like, never seen him. Never exactly. seen him do it. But he hasn't, he's never been pushed to, mm. to, to, to pull out of his bag of tricks, you know what I mean? So, we've only seen the Hakai and whatever else, you know? Yeah. So, so it's like <laughs> we don't know what else he got truly so mm. unless broly's gonna pull it out or or they're gonna wait you know so yo that's my thought kai you got any thoughts no okay <laughs> so i just remembered let's, let's not let's also not forget this right <laughs> this might get this my pop. This is might pop Kai. <laughs> Let's not forget <laughs> Broly versus Beerus is only gonna help Beer. Is only gonna help Broly because Monkey see, Monkey do. And I'm telling you right now, like if Beerus, if Beerus even dares, I mean, at first, and here's the thing, right? Goku and Vegeta already did this shit on and Broly, so he's got the X, the XP built up. He sees Beerus use some fucking God Key. I'm telling you, Broly is gonna fucking get God Key off watching, son. Right then and there, he's just gonna. <laughs> Honestly, like, I mean, I mean, Broly hasn't faced Ultra Instinct, right? No. no, no, he but hasn't. We don't we don't know how he'll perform against that. Nah, he, so, yeah. I mean, if Goku, if, if we're gonna see that in the movie just for a little bit, that would be cool. <sighs> but then, like, I don't know where it's gonna go at from there. Like, how serious it's gonna be, or if he's gonna adapt <laughs> to where he can counter it or some shit, some yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Shit, man. I don't know. I just, it just, I just, it just came across my mind because I'm like, dude, all the sayings are, are, are pretty much like that. They're monkey see, monkey do. You know, that's how they learn. And I think that shit is freaking sick. So if he's going to be fighting Beerus, Broly adapts very fast. And he kind of just, he literally, like, dude, remember when in the movie, like, Goku does that one technique and Broly did it right back, like on the spot, like and that with no training. Broly with training, you don't. People don't realize, so they, and they're training him. With training, this guy is, he's gonna be the best, without a doubt in my mind. He's going to be the best character, because off no training, he could have killed these. He could have killed Goku and Vegeta, and Frieza if they never came back. Frieza was pretty much dead. <laughs> but, uh, I guess that's it. So, Kai, you got anything to add or 
Anything for the people? Kind of hyped to see what that uh that chapter's gonna show us with that backstory. Same. I'm looking forward to it. That drops on the 18th for the U.S., 19th in Japan. Looking okay. forward to that. I'll be doing a reaction like usual once I'm off work or whatever. Brother, you got anything for the people at home? I already know, man. Stay safe, stay clean. Take your showers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get the body right, physicality, mentality, you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, we good. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> All right. Keep it simple. All right, cool. So, also, really quick side note: I reinstalled Dragon Ball Fighters and Kakarot, so I'm gonna be playing those games again on my stream. So, definitely check that out. Also, guys, make sure you guys are hitting us up: fullpowerpod at gmail.com. It is fullpowerpod at gmail.com, as well as subscribing to the Full Power Podcast YouTube channel, which we will be moving over to for the the full podcast versions. Uh, in the near future so give that a subscribe if you can if you will and uh like share subscribe leave your comments below share the video out let us know what you think what you would like to hear us talk about for next week i'm sure we're gonna obviously be talking about that chapter next week but if there's anything specific you know we'd like to keep a log of you know future topic ideas and points of discussion so it's been your boy the brother each the homie kai Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Me the proper take and keep it locked with it right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay inside. We'll see y'all next time.